Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke. I'm Cardboard Lawyer, and what are you looking at, old man? What are you looking at? Okay, that's enough of that. Um, we are here in Fortree City, and as you can tree, as you can tree, <laughs> oh my god, um, there's a gem here, but if you keep trying to walk, you can't because something unsealable is in the way. So we're gonna need a pencil eraser, um, which they don't, they don't put in this game. Um, so just forget about it for now, we'll come back to it. Uh, there's some important things in some of these houses. Well, not important, but things that you can get out of these houses. I think it's this one. Yes. Um, if you talk to this lady, people are Pokemon. Their hidden powers are aroused by blah, 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 blah. Um, she's going to give you an item if you can guess the coin, uh, where the coin is in her hand. Um, if I remember right, it's right, right, left. Um, let's see. Uh, left. Oh, splendid! Your hidden power has awoken! Yay! So she gives you the item, Hidden Power, which is a really cool move. Um, based on your Pokemon's IV stats, Hidden Power will be a different type. So it can be any type, and it, it varies between Pokemon. Um, so it's a neat move. Um, you can't really tell until you check it in battle. So you're going to have to do some testing with it to see what you get. Uh, it's a fu fun move, though. Good move. Um, if you come and talk to this guy, he can teach you Sleep Talk because he's a move tutor. Um, but I'm not really interested in the move Sleep Talk because it's an attack you can only use when you're asleep. Um, and what Sleep Talk does, I think it... Yeah, Sleep Talk chooses one of the moves you have randomly and just does it. Um, so, once you're asleep, it's kind of cool. There! Go, bird Pokemon! Um, you talk to this guy and he'll send his Wingle off. Um, there's a girl later that you'll find who has the Wingle. Um, and then he'll fly back. Uh, this little hut right here, I'm just gonna run into it real quick to show you off what it is. Uh, this is a furniture store. Uh, this side sells you desks, and the other side sells you chairs. Actually, let me show you what they look like. Uh, these are for your secret bases. You can put your Pokemon dolls on them, and among other things. Uh, and it's just for decoration purposes. They serve no purpose in the actual game, but I like decorating. Uh, but we're going to ignore the secret base aspect for now. Um, now that those are available, though, we can actually do that uh, extra episode I wanted to do. Sorry about that cut there. The mailman knocked on the door and ruined everything. Um, I actually battled this trainer um, while I was training, and there's another trainer down here that I battled. Um, we'll fight these two after the gym leader. Um, just Well, not in this episode, but like whenever we come down here to continue on, because we're not worried about them right now. Oh, look. Hi, Steven. And it's another unsealable thing. Let's see what Steven has to say. It's been a while. It was just last episode, or maybe the episode before. I don't. I don't remember. <laughs> There's something here I can't see, right? So he's gonna give us the invisible thing eraser. Um, he's actually gonna make you fight the invisible thing because he uses the Devon scope. And now the Pokemon that was invisible will fight us. It's a good thing we didn't erase it because, oh boy, erasing Pokemon, then we'd get Peta on us because we had po po Pokemon. Yeah. Um, ha. Um, Kecleon. Oh, Kecleon's actually the first Pokemon we've seen on this route, actually. Um, we can catch it if it can live up to our Bullet Seed! Um, I was trying to choose one. Um, like I s actually, uh, yeah, we, we want it to live, so I guess strategically fighting it isn't a good thing. Um, I wonder if we can name you. Actually, do I want you? Let's see, if you can survive this Ice Beam, I'll think about catching you. Because, like I said before when we fought that Kecleon in the 4th gym, they change uh, types, so now he should be a grass type, so this Ice Beam should hit for super effective. Let's see if he can survive it. I think he will, because he's a... Yeah, he's a pretty good uh, physical... Not physical, special tank. Uh, so he can survive that shit that we throw at him. Uh, we probably won't be using him, but... Eh, it's a Pokemon. So let's go and throw a ball at him. Go, Great Ball! And he should be ours. Unless he wants to be a jerk! had other problems with level 30 Pokemon who've been in my way before. Snorlaxes are so hard to catch, but they also have a higher catch rate. And we got Kecleon! Aw, oh, man! A Pokemon that has the ability to alter its body colors! Racism isn't applicable to you! I'm gonna go ahead and call him Vinci after Leonardo da Vinci, because why not? Why not? Uh, what do you have to say? I see! Your battle style is intriguing! The fun thing is, if you run away from uh, the Kecleon, he'll say the same thing. And then he'll be like, ah, oh, your battle style's intriguing, but you've just run away, so I think he's calling you a bitch. Um, and he's gonna go ahead and give you the Devon scope. Devon, Devon, whatever you want to say. Devon. Um, to, so you, if you run across any other uh, Kecleon, you can remove them. Um, and there's a few, like, th there was the one that we saw in the other- Oh my god, an alarm, and he flew away. That alarm was him flying away. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, I, li I, live, I live close to a road now. 
so those stupid sirens might bother us from time to time, but it's okay, it's just me and you, baby. You and me. Oh, Pokemon. It's just you and me. That, that got a bit creepier than I wanted it to be. Um, so yeah, we can... Why am I walking? Uh, we can handle other Kecleons now. Like, there was the one in the other episode that we can go do. And, but we're just gonna... We'll worry about the next episode, because we're gonna move this one. Uh, this one won't fight you, though. It'll just move out of the way. I think it just... Just... Yeah, see, it takes off from that tree, and it lives there forever. Um, so now we can get into the gym. Um, I did a bit of training. Not too much training. Um, I'm not, like, super over-leveled. But, um... I leveled up our guys a bit. Um, because I have such a cool idea, and I'm hoping you guys will love this. If, if this works out the way I want it to, I think you guys will end up loving this. When Winonia, when Winonia, when Winon, Winona, Winona. I'll just call her Winona. Um, this is one of those names that I never attempted to pronounce out loud. Um, I haven't seen like the Pokemon anime, um, so I, I don't know what to call her. So I'll just keep calling her Winona. Although, it's something ridiculous that, um, I probably don't know. Uh, we'll just... Ooh, air cutter. Oh, loady load! <sighs> Not a good idea to keep you in there, Einstein. Not a good idea. Um, so I'm hoping this ice beam will kill... Of course it won't. Um... Oh, God. Uh, all the people I want to trade... Oh, I can't swap you guys in. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Are you... Are you wearing that item? Oh, Lord, that'll ruin everything! Okay, wait, no, you're not. Who's wearing that item? You are. You're going to ruin everything for us. Okay, I have an idea. We'll swap in, uh... Man, man, man. Okay, we'll swap in Newton, and then we'll swap in, uh, Bombastis. Wait, no, Newton was the one where... Damn it, damn it, damn it! Newton was the one wearing the XP share. Oh, this is... This is going to hell in a handbasket. Uh, because as you can see, they're all about to level up. Um, actually, I'll... No. Okay, Tesla. I'm counting on you. Please be able to take a hit. Oh my god. Come on, please, 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 please. Survive an air cutter. Come on, Tesla. You could do it. You could do it. Oh, thank god. Ooh. Even with the critical hit, it didn't do too much. Like, I, I knew it wasn't, like, very effective still, but I was worried because, um, the Voltor family isn't... They don't have good defensive, uh, stats. They are very, very fast, and that's all they have, uh, going for them. Uh, but we should be, uh, Bombastis should be able to take out the Skymory. Or Skarmory, as his name actually is. I just love calling him Skymory. Um, don't know why. That's just what I called him as a kid, because apparently I was dyslexic as a kid. Um, but, yeah, Skarmory, Flamethrower will take him out easily, because he's weak to fire, and he's a physical tank, not a special one. Um, much like how Bombastis is. But he's not hitting Bombastis with Psychic, so we're fine. Um... So, if this works out the way I, I, I planned it, and I hope I planned it correctly, because I spent a lot of time um, making sure I trained properly for this work. Bombastis is leveling up, good. Newton's leveling up, good. And... Oh, Tesla! Fuck! Oh, man. So close. Ah, uh, what? Bombastis is evolving? Oh, ho, ho, ho. I didn't plan this at all. Um, yeah, it's a real shame. I was planning for all three of them to evolve. Oh, well, they'll all evolve within the same episode. Um, but I was hoping that they would all evolve from one battle. Oh, God. If only I didn't start off with, um, with Einstein. I think it would have worked. Congratulations, your Bob Astis evolved into a Weezing! Yeah, Weezing, Weezing Sprite and Emerald looks re weird, uh, but, um, it's okay, because I love Weezing, and we won't be seeing the front spike, because we'll be seeing him from the back, because he is our Bob Astis. And Newton's evolving into a little lady, so she won't be a freaky little ant pincher guy anymore. Now she's a lovely dragonfly. Um, so now she's a ground dragon type, which is pretty awesome. Um, and I think she'll learn uh, dragon breath or something. Yeah, dragon breath. So now she has a stab move. And dragon breath is, I think, dra I'm pretty sure dragon's special. And um, uh, Vib Vibrava, N Newton's family of Pokemon is a uh, you know, a physical-oriented thing, as you've seen by how weak their attacks are. But it's always good to have a stab on her, on any Pokemon. So we'll go with it. Ah, stupid Tesla ruined that, though. We could have had three Pokemon evolve at once. Well, I guess we still had two, and that's that's pretty neat, um, still. So we'll run into this battle with, uh, this next battle with Tesla and uh, Bombastus and see how it works out. Um, I haven't pointed out, but the, the puzzle of this gym is really easy. There's just those little flippers, and you gotta push them from the, um, sides that, you know, would 
actually be able to push him. You can't push him from that long, the long sides because you don't have enough push. Eh, saying things right isn't right. Isn't necessary. I just need to keep saying them. Um, mm, dat wheezing. Uh, stupid bombastus, you ruined it. Oh man, I was gonna keep. I was gonna teach you Thunderbolt because I like the cut of your jib. Um, I will use Shockwave on you. So we should take them out in one move. So hopefully they won't be able to touch us. Um, us being seven levels over them. Uh, which is pretty good. Um, so we're not we're not terribly over leveled for this gem. I think we're just right for this gem. I'll probably have to take off and go heal before we fight them though. Uh, fight the gym leader. Because uh, this gym leader can be a bit rough, especially if um, your team's weak to flying. Like uh, Darwin, Darwin, Einstein, and Ride probably won't be seeing any action. Uh, so we're going to leave it up to these three. Um, I'm, so sh I'm ashamed of you. Uh, I'm ashamed of you, Tesla. How dare you not evolve the rest of your friends. You and your friends could have been all evolved buddies. And then nobody would have been able to touch you. But no, you had to go and ruin a triple evolution. Instead, we only got a stupid double evolution. That's not rare enough. Because, you know, the, the, the rarity of an acacia uh, justifies how cool it is. And, oh man. You had to go and ruin that for everyone, Tesla. You stupid little Voltorby jerk. Man, man, man. Well, um, bump. our Pokemon are all getting stronger. Um, Vibrava took a little dip in her attack power. Uh, Newton, not dip Vibrava. Um, since uh, she went from being a Trap Inch, because Trap Inch has 100 at base attack, and Vibrava has 80. She, she's a bit weaker, but she's a lot faster, um, so the, the trade-off is, is worth it. And when she evolves again, it'll go up, go back to being 100, so she'll, she'll be as strong as she used to be, um, but she'll be faster, so in the end it all works out for the good of the greater good. All that jazz, and ooh, Tesla, 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 Tesla. <laughs> Oh, he paralyzed Swabaloo. Swallabaloo, because that's I love I love calling this thing Swallabaloos. I know it says Swabaloo, but Swallabaloo is just a lot more fun for me to say. And like I said, I was dyslexic as a kid, apparently. I do not know how these things happen. Not in the slightest. Um, I'll just do this. Um, since Swabaloo um, is paralyzed, so we can afford to keep attacking this guy's Pokemon. He sends out another? Was it his third Pokemon? Oh, it was. Um, I'm not paying attention. I'm just... Oh, no, I'm not paying attention. Man, I am... Whew. Um, this is a good time to bring up uh, at this point as any. Um, I'm not sure if any of you noticed, but the quality in the video, um, in this video, is going to be better than the rest of the series. Um, well, it, it got better a while ago because I started rendering it in a higher quality. Um, so it would look better on YouTube's player and give you the option for uh, 480p because before I rendered it in a 360 and that doesn't do anything for anybody. So it should look better because of that. But but this episode I figured out um, I fixed a problem I've been having where it, the uh, the bottom of the screen got this little black box. It uh, glitched it up, so it, I had to. Oh my god, this is a bit difficult for me to explain because I'm not good at explaining uh, little. Uh, nuances like this, uh, but little black box at the end, so whenever I would edit, I would have to stretch the screen a bit, so now it's going to be stretched less, um, since the, f the full screen should be uh, um, available, so there shouldn't be any clipping on the bottom. Um, nobody's mentioned it, which I was really surprised, um, and yay, Tesla evolved. Um, so it should look better now, since that's gone, and it's all neat and stuff. I was glad I was able to fix it. Um, if anybody has having problems with uh, recording, like, oh my god, wait, I should have switched out. My Pokemon are probably hurt. Um, oh well, we'll just keep going, see what happens. Um, if anyone is having problems like that, I'll put in like the the description, comments, annotation, whatever, of uh, how I fix the problem. So actually, I can say it right now. It was really weird. Um, I used to record it so we would only record like um, the emulator itself. In editing, I basically just uh, pan crop it so where you just see the thing. Um, but now I'm recording slightly more than the screen, so it made the black box go away. I don't know how that works, and I don't care because it works. Um, man, man, man. Oh man, I was going to hit you Thunderbolt, and I was also going to swap out some Pokemon. Um, Tesla's now going to be like the fastest guy ever, because Electrode is one of the fastest Pokemon out there. Um, I can't think of his base speed. It might be like 130, I think. Um, he's a he's a pretty quick guy. Actually, it might be higher than 130. 
I don't know. Um, I don't know. This is actually the first time I've ever had an Electrode, which is pretty cool. Um, I like Electrode. He's he's one of those simple design Pokemon. Um, now that I think about it, let me take a look at my team. Oh no, it's just those two. I was going to say, hey, we have a lot of first-gen Pokemon, but now we have all third-gens, except for Bombastis and Tesla. Um, who are just raping this gym, by the way. Um, so we can just... We can spark you, which will take out Pe uh, Pelipper, because Pelipper is flying water, so Electric just kills them. And we'll... Sl wait, no, you're... Yeah, we'll, we'll sledge you anyways, just because I want to use Sludge. Um, remember... Um, what you want to do is more important than type advantage. And I want to throw up on Natu, or Zatu, um, or x <laughs> That'd be a dumb one. I always say Zatu, because I think that's the correct way to pronounce it. Because more often than not, the X is pronounced as a Z um, in my um, ex experience. And if you noticed, uh, whenever we poisoned him, uh, it brought up his Synchronize effect. Um, some Pokemon have an effect called Synchronize. Whenever you hit them with a status ailment, it basically bounces it back to you, so you, you both get hurt. Um, there's better variants of it called like Magic Bounce and stuff, where they don't get it at all, and it just bounces it back at you. But um, it's pretty neat, but it didn't affect Bombastis, because he's a poison type, and you can't poison poison types, um, which is cool. I wish you couldn't uh, paralyze electric types, and sorry for that little cut. Well, not really a cut, but... I'm taking a drink of water. Oh, I'm so bored. Uh. Ah, my god, that is so professional, drinking on the job. Um, I just needed a drink. My throat was getting so dry. I haven't fought with my Brava yet. I'm gonna swap you out. Uh, you're not wearing the Macho Brace, are you? I think you still have the XP share, yeah. Um, good, which, so you should be quick and helpful. Um, we're gonna go ahead and battle this guy, even though you can probably skip him. Actually, looking at this puzzle. Yeah, you're going to need to fight him to uh, solve this puzzle. Um, because you're going to push that thing, you're going to push the big one up there that's a 45 degree angle thing. And once you came around, since you wouldn't have pushed it, it would keep you in. You wouldn't be able to shove the thing because it would be locked in place. So you have to push it to be able to get by. Because in this case, going at an angle is a good thing. Um, Rock Tomb... We won't be able to hit it with Dig because uh, Tropius is a gra grass flying type. I, I quite like Tropius, but we're going to use Dragon Breath just because we just got it, just to see how much- oh, that was really shitty, Newton. <laughs> really shitty. Ooh, and that did a lot of damage. Uh, I'm gonna get you out of there, because I'm scared now. And we'll swap in Bombastus. We'll let Bombastus do most of the fighting. Um, if I remember the gym leader's team, we'll probably lead off with, um, I think we'll lead off with Newton. Uh, and then we'll swap in and let Bombastus and Tesla cover the rest of the gym, because I think they can handle it. Um, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to teach uh, about Massa's Flamethrower, because there's a lot of Tropiuses, Tropiuses in the region. Not so much um, walking up here, because you have like an 8% chance of seeing them, so you don't see them too often in the wild, but quite a few trainers have them in this gym, since it's a flying gym, and Pokemon like Tropius, who are a flying type, but like a different variant that isn't normal flying, well, of course, would be good in the gym, because it offers some variation. You seem to know your stuff. He likes the cut of our jib. I love saying cut of the jib, by the way. Um, speaking of that, while I remember and we're on the outer screen, let's go ahead and teach um, Tesla Thunderbolt. So he can do the ACDs. Oh, I almost freaked out and um, Bombastus Thunderbolt. So I'm like, oh my god, he can use Thunderbolt. But then I remembered that I already knew that he could. Um, I was going to say, we can make you forget Screech, just because it's useless, but having two electric attacks on you would be even more useless. See, Tesla, you've, you've earned my trust. I like the cut of your jib. I'm teaching you a very good move. Um, I don't think you can just... Yeah, see, you can't do that. I'm pushing on the button. You have to come up here, and it makes an, in, an entrance for you. So that when you come around the next time, you got to push it like this, and voila. You're at Winonia, as I'm going to keep calling her. Um, her name's probably actually Winona. Before we fight her, I'm going to go heal real quick, which means I have to do the puzzles again, but it's okay because they're easy. And then we're going to get on her pedestal, which I'm on now. Ah ha 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 ha. I still continue to be on your pedestal. Okay, let's battle her. I am Winona, the leader of Fortree Pokemon Gym. I have become one with the bird Pokemon. They're flying types. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Bird Pokemon are a glitch type. 
um, not an actual type, like a uh, Missing Nose Out Bird type Pokemon, which is funny because it was an unused type because they originally planned to use it, um, but they didn't end up using it, so it's a glitch type now, and she's dumb for insinuating anything otherwise. Uh, so we'll start off with, oh man, I was actually going to hit it with, um, with Dragon Breath thinking it was a Dragon type, but Swablu isn't a Dragon type, it's a normal flying. When it evolves though, it becomes a Dragon flying, which is really neat. Um, I mean, dragon flying isn't exactly a unique type in the slightest. Did you just use mirror move? That was dumb. Um, so we're just gonna finish you off now. Um, but it's neat because dragon flying and it's actually like a bird thing. And it's like a cottony cloud bird, so it's all daw, which is the best way to put anything. Um, come on, let me rock you to death. We just have to hit him with two rock tombs and it's dead. Look how slow it's getting because rock. Rock Tomb has a chance to lower speed, so we're actually faster than her now. Um, I wasn't sure if we were faster to begin with. Because so I think Newton has about an 80 speed stat, I think? Uh, it might be a bit lower. I'm, I'm, I think it's 80, though, because I know when it evolves, it becomes 100. Um, I'm not sure what it just said, because I wasn't paying attention, but I'll assume it said Pe Pelipper. Um, I'm going to hope it's Pelipper, because if it is, Tesla's going to rock it. Um, Altaria, ooh. That's actually bad. Um, we'll, we'll roll with it, though. Um, uh, get it, roll with it. Um, so we'll just hit with Thunderbolt. Um, like I said, Altaria is a dragon flying. Um, so you're gonna hit it for neutral damage. Oh, and it's DDing up. That's really bad. Oh god, I hope Altaria doesn't... Oh, I'm not even gonna say it. I don't wanna jinx it. Um, I'm just gonna keep Thunderbolting you. Come on, get a critical hit, Tesla. I would be so grateful if you did. Come on, Tesla! Okay, good. Keeps dragon dancing. Um, that's actually not good. That's actually really bad. Um, I just hope if we're if we're still faster than her on the next turn, we'll f oh you fuck you would heal, you would oh it's only an orange berry thank God uh, if that was a citrus berry oh no why do you know earthquake why do you know earthquake no Tesla no Tesla I no oh, Tesla oh you have you have wrestled my jimmies do it bombastus we're gonna. We're gonna finish her off with a sludge. Um, she has angered me! And Bombastus will be able to take her out, um, cause Earthquake won't be able to hit her, or hit him, sorry. Um, God, I can't believe she killed Tesla! I like Tesla, ha! Now your Altaria is dead. You stupid fucking bird! I, why does she know Earthquake? That was, oh god, that was... I was not expecting that in the slightest. Miss? Tesla, I liked him. He fought hard. Fought hard. Oh man. But he died in the battle that he was born for. God, I just taught him Thunderbolt as well. The first battle he gets to use Thunderbolt and he's dead. Was this the first one? I think it was the first one. Um, I, I honestly don't remember. That's a short term memory for you. Um, I actually have a pretty good memory. Um, I've just completely forgotten because I am struck with grief. God damn it, but really the, the episode he evolves, he also dies. This is this is Mother 3 all over again. I mean, not like Hinawa. Love Hinawa evolved. She went from being a good mother to being a good mother who made me omelets. Um uh, ha having said that, everybody should go play Earthbound and Mother 3. They're fantastic games. Um I mean, I've just played them for the second time. I mean, I'm still I'm still playing Mother 3 for the second time. But oh man, ah, oh, those games are so good, so good, so good, so good. But why, Tesla? I'm not mad at you, Tesla. I'm mad at I'm mad at her. Um, and we're gonna just finish her off with Bombastus Flamethrower. Um, man, I should have just stuck to Bombastus. Bomb Bombastus. Yes, extra team. It's Bombastus. Bombastus. Oh, loady, loady, loady. Well, uh, this gym battle went off with a hitch. The hitch bang. Tesla's dead. But seriously, why did that thing know? Or, well, I guess it makes sense because it was using Dragon Dance. Ah, I just see that thing and I think it's uh, it would be a special, a special uh, um, attacker. But no, nope. earthquake. Loady load. So we've we've won. We've gotten the badge. Tesla's Tesla's sacrifice has given us electricity in our hearts and a badge. A badge. I think it's like the feather badge. Never before ever seen a trainer where I killed this Pokemon. <laughs> I'm a stupid bitch. Um, 
I don't, I don't like you anymore. You with your stupid ponytail. It looks dumb how your hair is coming out of your hat. You're dumb. The, the flying gym leader from gym 5 is cooler than you. Not gym. I keep saying gym instead of gym. Um, blah, blah, blah. We'll be able to use fly, so that's good. And she gives you aerial ace, which is a good move. Um, a lot of Pokemon can learn it, which is really cool. Um, you me make you baby phone number so I can come back and kick your ass later. Um, because I don't... Um, because I, I, I actually forgot that I was going to do this. I mean, I'm still going to do it. But at one point, after we've beaten Elite Four, maybe before, I, I'm not sure how their levels sync up. So I'll see how it work out. Um, but we're going to be coming back and fight, refighting the gym leaders at their strongest. So I'm going to fight them a few times to be able to do it. Um, as you see, 60, an extremely speedy and avoidable attack. So Aerial Ace will never miss. So we'll forget Peck on it. On, um... Darwin, so he can have a way to take out other fighting types and uh, grass types, which will be really good on him. I like the move Aerial Ace, but I hate you now, Winonia, and I am done with you, and I'm gonna go put Tesla in the grave with the others. Oh, you jerk! I need to... Ah, oh, man. Two, gins, two gems in a row. I've I've lost a Pokemon. Oh, it's Scott. Hi, Zach. It's me. Just as, just as I thought you wanted the Fortree Gem. Your strength, perhaps you really are the trainer that I've been searching for. Remember, you have a fan in me. Yay, he's he's a bigger fan now, which is a good thing. He loves our band, our band of misfit Pokemons. Where are the misfits? We're talking better. Um, so yeah, on that on that note of getting the badge and losing a friend, I'm gonna call this an episode. So I'll see you guys next time when we continue on our Pokemon journey. Tesla.